like to welcome you all to the first annual Seattle Youth Climate Action Summit. Let's give it a, give a big hand for being here on a rainy Saturday. Seattle Youth Can is a network designed to bring together teens from Seattle and King County to learn about climate change, to engage with climate leaders in our region, and to come up with solutions and take action. We decided to start super local and, and really develop this initial partnership with three uh, of our local cultural institutions, the zoo, the aquarium, and the science center, because each of those institutions have thriving teen programs that focus on environmental issues and specifically climate change we knew there'd be the opportunity to actually get teens together uh, around the same table. It's something that we really need to solve, and real soon, actually. We're the next generation. We're coming into this, and the future generation won't have anything because of us if we didn't speak out. And it's knowing that there are other youth who also care, whether it be large or small. Um, there's just easy things that you can do every day to make a difference. So we started off with action. We thought that that would be a great way to get everybody excited about the network. Uh, we had a tree planting event uh, on the Burt Gilman with Forterra, which is a local sustainability organization. So the next step was bringing together a smaller group, a committee of teens who was really focused on developing a climate action plan and coming up with a campaign to engage their peers. And what they settled on was a real interest in addressing transportation. Uh, actually, in the Washington area, uh, transportation is 45% of our carbon emissions. So we decided to tackle that problem by instituting a transportation challenge. So the Transportation Challenge, it was an online event, and it was um, the volunteers from the Zoo Science Center Aquarium started in the first week of August and you would just make an account on Rideshare. It's very simple. It's, you just have to log in the address and what type of transportation. Carpooling, um, taking the bus, biking, walking, really just anything that wasn't taking a single occupancy vehicle. I commute down from Everett. My dad actually works in Seattle so we just carpool together down here and then I bus um, down to the zoo or I just bus from home. I usually carpooled it with my younger sister, my mom, and I. The aquarium's kind of downtown and my dad works downtown, so I'd carpool with him there and then I'd bus back. I actually realized that there are a lot of ways that I don't, I don't have to actually take the car like by myself. I could have biked to certain places um, instead of driving to my friend's house a few times. I walked because they were in a walkable distance. Each time they logged in, they could see, well, what was the total carbon emissions saved or reduced uh, from the challenge to date? It was cool to see how many pounds of CO2 I saved. I like to have it documented. And it was great for us to be able to share that out at the end. And these were the results. And as you can see, it was a resounding success. We saved 617 gallons of gasoline, uh, saved 12,000 pounds of CO2, and took 23,000 miles not driven alone. So that was really exciting because that came from their own interest and that allowed me to reach out to King County Metro. Dropped out AMC building. So we kind of came up with this idea to have them be um, involved in a workshop to kind of help us come up with messaging, which is something we struggle with. What if you put like a cell phone and then like, or a big X through like a car with a cell phone? Don't text and drive, text and ride. Text and ride. We wanted students to design their own campaign around um, trying transit or trying to get out of driving it's alone. It's nice to make new friends mm -hmm. and you never know who's going to be like One girl was telling us how she thought that they should earn points off of using their ORCA card. A certain point, I get the amount that I um, gain my points for and I get free tickets. And those free tickets I would give to my friends and that would motivate them to actually get an ORCA card themselves so they can get They came up with things that we in our office aren't talking about. So I was really impressed with them having their own angle and own perspective and, and just really great, really great. Um, I believe that teens bring so much enthusiasm and out-of-the-box thinking and innovation uh, to the table when oftentimes uh, ideas are overlooked. 
the people I've met, the people who have been here to talk about climate change, they're very impactful. It's only about how we can help, how, what steps can we take. It is a problem that's happening all over the world and it's definitely something that we're passionate about. I do hope it continues because we are the next step. Now we're branching out to all teens in the Seattle area. We just used our second year of funding, so I feel like it's only going to keep growing from here. Watch City Stream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel, or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.